Hello friends, today we are going to be making and rating a recipe and a product. It's going to be Trader Joe's banana bread mix, specifically the recipe that's on the back of the box. The caramelized banana upside down cake. Plus a small bonus review of this shape and bake that I got because I did not have a springform pan on hand. I got this off the clearance rack and I thought it would be great because you can basically make this shape and bake into whatever shape. You can make it into a heart, you can make it into an X, you can make it into a circle. However large of a circle as long as it can be made using the five little things that they provide that connect to each other. I was able to make between an eight and a nine and a half inch circle with my connecting pieces and I poured in my melted butter and my sugar but the melted butter started to seep out. No! And that is a definite con with this Shape and Bake product because I don't think that this would be happening if I had a springform pan. Moving into the recipe review, I did have a difficult time cutting up the bananas to the appropriate thickness and then actually laying them out to make it look nice at the bottom. I also did cut up six bananas instead of five, so that might have played a part into why it was a little bit more difficult to lay it out. So I stuffed those banana pieces as best as I could, so it's not the prettiest, but it's definitely banana bread. From here, I just made the batter, which was a mix of oil, water, two eggs, and the actual bread mix. In making the batter, you're pretty much already done with the recipe. So the ease of the make and bake, I would say, is about four out of five. All the errors have been because I put six bananas instead of five and because I decided to use this cookware instead of getting a springform pan. Even though more butter had escaped, I decided I was too far gone, so I just poured in the batter and decided, you know what, it's time to bake. It can't get any worse than it already is, right? Wrong. While the cake was baking, more of the sugary butter or buttery sugar escaped. Not only off the shape and bake, not only off the baking sheet, but onto the bottom of my oven. Shape and bake, not worth it, don't do it. Despite my issues, the upside down banana cake came out really good. I removed some of the caramelized sugar butter off shape and bake and off of the pan to place it on top of the bananas to add some color. It looked really good. Now, I'm not a huge fan of banana bread in general, but I would give this banana upside down cake a solid three and a half out of five. Fair warning, the bananas do make the bread moister than normal banana bread. I would totally be down to make and bake this again just in a springform pan and not in the shape and bake. If I were to make this recipe again, I would bring the number of bananas that I put into the recipe down and possibly decrease the amount of sugar so I could decrease the calories. This recipe is sitting at about 3.34 calories per gram. Nothing too bad, but worth sharing. TLDR is that the shape and bake is not worth it and that this recipe is.